from the book of first john chapter 5 verse 14 and it says and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hear us if we ask anything according to his will you see god can do anything for you but it has to be according to the will of god the bible is talking about his will now the will of god is in two ways number one is the word of god but there is a personal will an individual will of god in every man's life for instance if god did not call you into business and you went in to business you will struggle there it does not matter the level of faith that you have you will struggle in that place if you are in any field that god have not called you into you will struggle in that field because you are not following the will of god for your life so god wants you to follow the will of god for your life let me give you this illustration maybe you are sick in your body you should understand that it is god's will for you to be healed because it is in the scripture that over 2000 years ago that jesus paid for your sickness and in the book of first peter chapter 2 verse 24 say by his stripes you were healed so it's scriptural that jesus have healed you over 2000 years ago so when you begin to enforce that demand on your body your body have to respond when your faith is intact and if the will of god for somebody is not for the person to travel abroad maybe god is saying in the country where you are that you're going to make it and you left the place where god has placed you and you travel because maybe at that moment things are not happening the way it should happen and you just left and went to another country where god have not commanded you to go it does not matter the level of faith you have you will struggle there so you have to align your faith according to the will of god you have to align your faith according to god's will for your life look at the life of jesus when he was about to go to the cross of calvary the bible said that he's exceedingly sorrowful even unto death then he began to pray and in matthew chapter 26 verse 39 the bible said and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying oh my father if it be possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as i will but as thou will he said it is not as i will but your will be done so jesus submitting his will as the son of man to the will of his father because the capital assignment that he came here to do is to die on the cross but if he would have prayed against it and say ah father i don't want to die i cannot die and even god knew that the time for him to die has come he wouldn't have fulfilled his destiny that's why bible say looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith that is to show you that faith is a person jesus submitted his will to the will of god so many people don't want to submit their will to the will of god yet they want to have faith so there is no faith outside the will of god you need to channel your faith according to the will of god concerning your life channel your faith according to the will of god concerning your business there are people that the business that they are doing is not what god want them to do and they are praying having faith to change what god don't want in their life and they have tarried praying and it's like their faith is not working faith works more when it is channeled to the will of god